Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So this video has been highly requested from the viewers since the My Battle event video was posted. In the video, I mentioned that I can get 1 million crystals per week. And a lot of players has been asking how do I do that? How do I get 1 million crystals per week? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I make crystals in day-to-day -day basis. Alright, first of all, to get a lot of crystals, you need to sell a lot of things. In the exchange center, unless you have the VIP card, you can only sell 10 items at one time. So this is the first tips that I do, that I highly suggest you to do as well. Increase the item limit listing at the exchange center. How to do that? You can get extra item slots in the exchange center from the wardrobe showcase effect. Some costume has extra effect, like faster garden faster harvesting Odin's blessing in Prontera, a chance to not use fishing baits when fishing, add extra bag weight limit and etc. And one of the effects is adding extra slot to the exchange center item listing. Put three costumes that have the same type of showcase effect will activate the effect. Every costume will have different quality of showcase effect like plus one, plus two or plus three. But only the lowest effect will be activated. So for me, this is the costume that I have that have the additional exchange center item listing effect and this is my everyday costume that I put in the showcase. Now with this I can sell more than 10 items at the exchange center allows me to earn more crystals. As for what item to put at the exchange center I'm sure you have your own list of items that you like to sell but for me my favorite item to sell is flowers. I had shared about this at the comments and some replied with this believe that I can get 1 million crystals weekly with just flowers. Truth be told, yes, I can get 1 million crystals every week from just selling flowers. Not until the exchange center price is messed up. As you already know, the price at the exchange center goes down a lot and it has been like that for a few months now, which make it difficult to earn crystals. My crystals earning also goes down and that lead to more items to sell that I'm going to let you know in just a bit. Now for flowers, it is not just any flowers to sell. You need to sell the flower that have one, the highest price and two, in high demand. Before start gardening, always open the exchange center and check for the flowers price. Some flowers, especially the high level flowers, will have a high price. But this does not mean that you need to sell that flower. Sometimes it is not in high demand and you can't sell it for days. In my server, the green grass, seedling and moonlight flowers sell very well. And now players buying the crystal rose too. With only selling flowers, I can get around 7 hundred thousands crystals weekly currently. This is of course depending on your server. I am in Odin server so for those who are in the same server you can take my figure as reference. Now for the rest of the item I sell the cat coins that I got from the weekly COC. Previously I also sell the Valkyrie coin that I got from doing nightmare instance weekly but I stopped selling the Valkyrie coin because I needed to get the blood bag headgear at the gacha machine. Next I sell all of the materials that I get from the Baphomet instance. I specifically choose the reward that I think will sell well like the fire pad, skill scroll, the katar or dagger shadow equipment, normal grade materials, longbow shadow equipment, normal grade materials and so on. Previously I mistakenly chose the two hand sword shadow equipment and no one is buying that item. I figure because the two hand sword is not a popular build in SA server so no one is actually needed. So choose the reward wisely and sell the materials that you get from the Endless Tower as well. Some of the Endless Tower materials still selling well in the exchange center. It may not be much but it will give you extra crystals nonetheless. When you run out of things to sell, find anything in your bag that you think can sell well even if it is the side flowers that you get from the gardening, the side fish that you get from fishing and gift item that you get from gardening and so on. You may not 
see it, but this little thing can sum up to quite an amount of crystals. Previously, I never bothered to sell some of these items like the Baphomet instance and the Endless Tower materials, because with just all of the other materials that I mentioned earlier, I enough to get 1 million crystals every week. But since the price had dropped, I need to diversify the items that I can sell at the exchange market. Well, if you are not doing the Baphomet instance and the Endless Tower every week, then you need to find other alternative, other ways to sell more items. Other alternative will be selling the food bar from cooking. Some have shared that they make over 1 million crystals every week with just selling food bar from the life skill cooking, especially selling the level 4, 5, and 7 food bar. This is where the food bar are highly used for PvP and boss hunt and also for daily farming. I haven't tried selling food bar because I have low cooking life skill level. I have just recently leveled up my cooking life skill to level 4. So now I can craft level 4 food buff and I'm trying to sell it as we speak. I hope that it can sell well. Now I do not like to sell the enchant, upgrade or refined stone. For me, selling these items is the same as selling the raw materials that is needed to craft it. I mean if you calculate the price, the crystals for the raw materials will be slightly the same. Crafting it also will use stamina. I rather use that stamina to get more of the raw materials and sell it to get more crystals. Alright, what do you think of my ways of earning crystals? It is certainly not something revealing. I'm sure a lot of players have been doing the same thing and even have their own ways that is work for them to get more crystals. With the exchange center price drop, this means that players need to get more variety of things to sell to get more crystals even down to little things such as gift item. If you have your own tips of earning crystals, please share it at the comment section. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye. Perhaps our story would have had a different ending. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from today on, we'll be together forever. Thank you.